Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam, I'm outside Old Trafford where Manchester United have drawn 1-1 with Chelsea thanks to a Robin Van Persie goal in the last minute. I'm surprised he scored to be honest because he wouldn't play in that well. He didn't have his best of games today. He was snatching at chances. He had a few half chances which he didn't really trouble the goalkeeper with but he got that goal in the end and he showed how much it meant to him and he ripped off his top and he showed passion that we haven't seen from Robin Van Persie this season or last season in fact since his first season at Manchester United. United started the game, no Jones, he was out, Falcao was out, we already had no Rooney, no Herrera and I was a little bit worried with the team that we'd see. Obviously we saw that 4-3-3 that I expected, Blin sat there with Fellaini ahead of him and Mata ahead of him. Yanazai and Di Maria wide with Robin Van Persie up front. And at the back, we had Smalling coming alongside Rojo. Um, we played well in the first half. We kept our shape well. We didn't really give Chelsea a sniff, um, if I'm honest. And at half-time, 0-0 was a result where I was thinking, going into the second half, we can get these three points. See, we can turn around and get a 1-0 win or a 2-0 win out of this. But what happened, we came out for the second half. But it seems like the players' brains didn't. They left them in the changing rooms or something because Chelsea were all over us. They had a lot of the ball. They, they, they were working in between our midfield and our defence fantastically well, passing it through to Drogba. And then they got that goal. It was a goal reminiscent of Drogba's against Bayern Munich in the Champions League at his, in his first spell at Chelsea. And he got another one of them to put United 1-0 behind. And then we kind of just sat back, went into our shells. The fans got nervous. The players... They didn't really get onto the ball. They didn't press Chelsea enough. They didn't show that urgency that we want to see when we fall behind. Um, but luckily, unfortunately, we've got this attitude now, which we didn't have under David Moyes when he came in, that negative attitude that he brought with him. Louis van Gaal has got us pushing, got us believing we can keep on getting that goal. We can keep on pushing, keep on getting that goal. And we got a goal out of nothing, if I'm honest. I didn't expect it to come, and it did. Um, so it's a great goal. We saw James Wilson on at the end. Um, he came on for, who did he come on for? Juan Mata, who didn't have the best of games, to be honest. Um, and that's another disappointment because I've been one that's been saying Juan Mata can, can shine in Rooney's absence, but he hasn't done it. It seems like, obviously, we've had Herrera out as well. And I think if we had a proper central, couple of mid, central midfielders behind him, would he be playing better? But nevertheless, he has to do more. He has to be stronger. I know he's not that kind of player, but, you know, beef up a little bit. Come on, you can do it, Juan. Um, we've obviously got Rooney back now. We've got City and Arsenal coming up. Hopefully we can get Herrera and Falcao fit because we will need them. But this point means a lot to the team. As we saw against West Brom, as we saw against Chelsea, we keep on pushing to the end. And we got the goal that we maybe didn't deserve on the, on the basis of that second half performance, but it meant a lot to the team. And it was important that we didn't lose to one of our rivals here today. Got Man City, Arsenal to look forward to now. I'd take four points right away, but come on we can do this sure we can united anyway get your comments in below make sure you subscribe to full-time devils i'm adam matt cola and i'm out of here and my man of the match this sam's gonna find is funny fellaini